Hello and welcome to this episode of Kitchen Table Pokemon. And today I'm going to be doing a quick uh, review of my current deck list I'm running um, here for my Zoroark Glissopod list. And somebody had asked to take a look at this, so I figured I'd lay it out and show it to you. Um, I've been running this list for the last few weeks, and overall it does pretty well for me. Um, you know, I'm got a fairly decent record in our local tournaments. I mean, they're nothing too competitive, but, you know, it's a fun list to play and a fun list to run. So you can see here I'm running four Zora and four Zorark GX, along with one of the uh, stand-in Zorarks, just in case I run into any uh, Hoopas uh, or Alolan Ninetales, which do crop up every now and then. I'm also playing a 3-2 Glissopod line and a 1 Mewtwo from Evolutions and 1 Tapu Coco, as well as 2 Tapu Leles. Uh, this has been pretty much the, I think this is almost exactly what Tord was playing in his list. And it seems to work out really well for me. Um, you know, I'm running only 2 Leles just because I don't feel like you need more than that for most, most games. And, you know, if you do, well, you got Acer Rolls and things to get them back. So, that is my Pokemon line for supporters. I've now got in four Cynthia in 3N for my draw supporters. Um, I find this works pretty well. Uh, I don't play any more Sycamores just because of the discard from trade on Zorark. I'm also playing three Acer Rolls. And three Guzmas, three Bridgets, and one Mallow. Uh, I find this to be a really good line, and as you'll see later on, you know, only having three Ace Rolls and three Guzmas isn't as big a deal for this deck. Uh, you know, the three Bridgets is just because, as like with Tord's List, you want to get that turn one Bridget, and it just helps with that. Um, I've played with changing one of the ends into a second Mallow, but, you know, I think one Mallow is just enough for this deck. So I'm still not sure if I need three ends. I may take this down, and I'm not sure what I would replace one of the ends with. But right now, this is what I'm running. So for items, if I can get these supporters cleared up. Items right now, I have four Ultra Balls, four Puzzles of Time, two Choice Bands, one Special Charge, two Enhanced Hammers, three Field Blowers, one pal pad. So the reason I'm only playing a 3-3 of the Ace Roll and Guzma is because of the pal pad. Um, it allows me to get two supporters back into my deck. So if I'm running low on Guzmas or Ace Rolls, I can put them back into the deck. It also helps with early trades if you have to trade away a Guzma or have to trade away a uh, Ace Roll or anything else, you can get it back with the pal pad. Same thing with, you know, just your standard four Ultra Balls, four puzzles at a time. I only run two choice bands. I know some people run float stones. I've never really needed them because I run, you know, the Guzmas and the Acerolas. I don't see as much of a need for the float stones. I run a special charge because there's a lot of people running Enhanced Hammer and other special energy hate. So uh, I find the special charge to be really helpful. This way I don't have to waste puzzles on it. Uh, I do run two, you know, enhanced hammers because there is a lot of special energy out there, and I do want to hate on it sometimes. And finally, also three field blowers because, you know, you want to be able to remove tools and, you know, knock uh, tools off of Gar Garbodors as well as off of any other uh, Pokemon to remove choice bands, fighting fury belts, and anything like that. So, going on from there, I do also run one Parallel City. Uh, this is more for, you know, limiting my opponent's bench. Yeah, you know, you take less damage with your, your Glissopods would do less damage, but I find that even with that minus 20, you don't see much of a change in your numbers. So you're still able to knock out a, um, Lycan Rock, which is, is the primary target with my Glissopods in a lot of decks. You're still able to knock out a Lycan Rock if you have a Glisspot even under Parallel City. So it's not as big a deal, I find, in most games. So I run it, though, because, you know, that bench limitation is just so powerful. Lastly, the energy. I'm just running three 
grass and for uh, DCE. So it's a pretty straight up and standard list. Um, you know, a couple of little texts I've got in there just to, you know, make it more consistent for me. Like I said, I've been running it uh, at a bunch of our local little tournaments and it does pretty well. Uh, I don't think I've actually lost with it in the last three or four. And at a League Cup I went to, I did top eight with it. Thank you for watching.